Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this new tutorial. So now I'd like to show you how can we create this dashboard widgets in our WordPress uh, plugin or theme. So we can use this one to display any kind of data that we want. For example, we can copy, as you can see, I'm using this one to display the total revenue from the database and putting it over here. So let's just go ahead and create this one first. Let me just show you, it's really quick. I'm gonna just jump over here into my index.php page. So basically this page is where you initialize your plugin. You might have a different name for it, but you can see over here the plugin name and description and so on. So I'm gonna just scroll all the way down and let me just start with the comments. So let's call it dashboard widgets like this. So first I'm gonna start with a function as always. So the function, let's call it LMS slash or dash dashboard dash widgets like this. All right, so let's open the, the brackets and let's get down. So first we need to put again, uh, we need to put another function. So it's gonna be web dash add dash dashboard dash widgets widget. Not widgets, but just widgets. So let's open the brackets and make sure to close it. And let's get down. So the first element, the first parameter of this function is gonna be the name of our uh, widgets. So let's call it, for example, dashboard or LMS payments. I'd like to use this one to display only the payments. And the second one is gonna be the name that we're gonna be displaying over here. You can see this one, same, the, the name is gonna be displayed on the top of our widgets. So let's call it e-instructure uh, stats or data that's like this all right so let's add the comma over here and let's scroll down and the third one's going to be the function so the function is going to contain the content of our dashboard so let's just call it for example lms function or let's lms uh widgets with function all right so we got this there is no need to add the comma because this is the last one so i'm going to just scroll down over here and i'm going to be creating another function function it's going to be we should follow the same name. So this one, we'll just copy this one and paste it over here. Let's open the brackets and let's get down. So inside this function, we can create and let's just echo this text. So let's say this is our dashboard widgets. I'm gonna just close that. And so basically we got all our content. So all we need to do right now is to execute all everything over here. So in order to do that, we need to use uh, add fill or add action hook so add action. So let's open the brackets. So the first parameter is gonna be the web page dashboard dash uh, setup. And the second parameter is gonna be the first function, this one. So I'm gonna just copy it and paste it over here. But it must be inside the, the quotation marks, just like that. So let's save. And I'm gonna just go over here and duplicate the page. I don't want to lose this one. And we can just refresh. And as you can see, we got it. So in structure, stats, data. I would like also to show you how can we display some data. Let me just go ahead, uh, localhost, localhost. I'm gonna just bring my PHP, my admin. And basically this is the database table LMS payments. So I got over here these prices. You can see the status is processing. So we got these prices over here. So basically what I'd like to do is to combine all the completed orders and combine these prices so that we can get the total revenue and we can display it here, just like what we got over here. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just scroll down into my index page. So instead of keeping everything messed up in our index.php page, I would like to create another one specialized in the dashboard widgets. Uh, making it messy a little bit, our index. We can do this. I'm gonna just create over here a new template. Let's call it I'm control S and let's call it uh, web page dashboard or uh, dash with point PHP. So dashboard dash widgets. So I'm gonna just save and we can do this. I'm gonna just copy everything we got over here. Copy it and let's just put it right here. So as you can see, we need to include a PHP tag in front, just like that. Let's save. And from here, I'm going to just delete the stuff, but we need to include that file. So let's include. So basically now we are on the index. So what we need to do is first we need to access the includes folder. So includes slash slash was what let's uh, access that. So we have templates, templates another slash and inside it we can select this dash 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 again with point php so let's close that and let's make sure that everything 
remains the same, which is the case, which is fine. Okay, so from here we can just keep playing with it over here. It's gonna be uh, even simple to do. I don't want to mess this one. So I'm gonna just scroll down over here and let's start by calling our database. So like I said, I would like to combine all these uh, prices with the completed order. You can also add the processing, but let's just, uh, just would like to show you an example of retrieving value from that. So we can say this is uh, total revenue. Also after that, we're going to be working on some HTML. So first, let's just global with PDB. So this is our connection to the database. We need to not forget the dollar sign. So over here, let's create or let's uh, name our database, our table, this one. LMS payment, so let's call it DB, stands for database. So we can use the prefix so that you can get rid of this web, web pay in front of that. So we pay DB, DB, and a row like this. And let's call it prefix, prefix point and quotation marks. And inside it, we can write LMS dash payment. Close that. And down below, we can start an order. So we can write another variable, let's call it rev, stands for the revenue. So we can, again, web pay, they pay, get call, get column. I would like to get the entire column of this one, of the entire prices. So get call, let's open the brackets. And over here, I'm gonna just open the quotation marks. Let's select. So now we are talking to the database. So we want to select price, but actually we, we need to put it inside these. I don't know how to how to tell you how to find these. They are a little bit uh, spinned or rotated, these quotation marks. I don't know what to call them. So select price from, from it must be uppercase, from what? From this one, the database. So this one can just make these from DB database, where so this is our condition where the status is equal to completed. We only want the completed order where let's just uh, spend this all a little bit where status. So status must be inside those again. Status is equal to processing. No, actually it's completed, not processing, completed. We can add that if, if it's, if you need it. So I'm going to just save, but down below we need to var dump. So this one, it's a column. So basically it's gonna be an array. So actually what we need to do is to var dump that array, which is ref. It's just it's gonna be working because sometimes these quotation marks does not work correctly. Let me just get back and refresh over here. As you can see, array is empty. So we got a problem over here. So select price from DB. You know what, let me just change these to everything like that, save. The refresh and as you can see we got it it's got it working so basically what i'd like to do is to count so we're going to be using a function that's called ray sum uh, sum so basically this function over here is going to add all the components all the elements that we got in our array so it just it's going to give us the sum so i'm going to just copy this one and paste it right over here like this and we can get back over here and array that array sum just save to refresh, actually we need to echo that sum, echo ra row, array sum. As you can see, we got it, 1335, which is the same over here. So we, ret we retrieve that value in exact way. But also I'd like to show you another thing. How can we add, for example, if we want to include some icons or images, just like this one. So let me just show you. So for example, here we can add uh, HTML tag. So let's just close the PHP first and back over here, let's open it again. And inside it, we can add an HD HTML. So we can start first by just an image, so image. So the source of it's gonna be, uh, let me just show you. So I'm putting this, this one in the assets. So I got this money back, actually it's the revenue, I think. Yeah, how can we put this icon inside our dashboard? So I'm gonna just use the source, and inside the source, I'm gonna just use another PHP tag like this. And inside it, we can use this one, so echo 
plugin. I just would like to get this this uh, image from here. So we need to access this assets file. So plugin dash dir dash path. Now actually URL, not path, URL, URL. Let's open the brackets and double dash and let's create dir and let's add double dash again, point. And over here we need to put this path. So basically we got assets slash and the name of it is dash. No, actually I, I messed up. The name of it is revenue point PNG. So why do I did just assets and not includes? Because we are in the same, uh, let me just show. You. So the widgets, the widgets and the assets are in the same place. So there is no actually to go back to the includes and because this one is going to give us this location. I don't know how to explain that, but I think you get the idea. So for me, let me just close that with a semicolon and let me just save and see if it's going to be working or not. And basically we got it. So we got our, uh, our uh, icon over there, but the order is not set up. It's not set correctly. So actually I'm going to just remove this one, this echo, this is total revenue. You can just copy it. Copy to remove it from here and we can, for example, add another div dev that contains everything and inside it first we need a paragraph let's put that this is total revenue and the second one is gonna be our image i'm gonna just put it over here and the third element let me just check actually it's the the number itself so the number is the sum this one the echo array sum i'm gonna just copy it from here you can also create a paragraph this and put it inside it but actually what we need to do is to put it inside another php tag so let's just paste that do refresh so i'm gonna just do another refresh over here to see all those elements as you can see they are in order but actually what we need to do is to use some css so basically if you want to use the css you can just add a whip head so i already have some css style over here style so this setup you can check the tutorials i've done tutorials on how to include the css in your scripts so I'm going to just add over here a uh, whippy head dash head and let's close that like this. And for example, we can try this out by adding another class and let's call it quick FF double dash quick send. So this is a font family, the quick send. Let's just do refresh it. And as you can see, it's working. We got it working. So all we have to do right now is, for example, uh, I'd like to use the flex flex to put everything in one line basically we got it but also for this one i'm gonna just put it the first one this icon just put it over here get back the refresh okay we got it but also what i think should do is to give them a little bit of space so for example for the first one this i'm gonna give it a class so call dash 33 so this is my own class library Go ahead and use anything you want. So basically we got a problem over here, I see. Yes, I think I can see the problem. So we need to remove that one. The refresh, okay, 31. And I'm gonna just do the same thing for everything. So class over here, call dash 33. Okay, I'm gonna just copy this class. Paste it again over here. Let's see if it's gonna be working. Yes, it's working, but I think this one, let's give it just 20. All right, so basically that's it for this tutorial. So we learned how to create this dashboard widgets and also how to uh, get or retrieve data from the database. Also add icons and so on. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the coming tutorial. Take care.